Um, in your experience now working with banks of all types and sizes, what are the three keys to getting bank financing in the self-storage industry? I'm going to go back to your first question where I said people need to pick what they really want, right? So um, a lot of my peers in the industry love um, CMBS style money or what I call Wall Street type of money, which is non-recourse and you're only signing on carve outs and stuff like that. Um, you know, that's the waters that we had to wade through early to try to figure out what it was that we wanted. Um, we realized that's not what we wanted. And in the end, it actually works out, worked out pretty good for us because tying that to the pandemic conversation is CMBS style money instantly dried up because of what happened and we were still buying deals. I bought a deal in June. <laughs> and got it financed, right? So um, the couple points that I would make there is um, one, pick the horse or the style bank you want. We like local mom and pop credit unions, those type of things because of the flexibility in some of the terms, you know, you can get better interest only. The interest rates might not be as competitive as CMBS style money, but we have the flexibility of either refinancing or getting out in three to five years where, you know, CMBS style money's 10 year. So some of those things um, are key to understanding what it is you're trying to accomplish. For us, it's all bank credit unions, small banks, relationship style banks. Um, as far as getting the actual loans, um, having somebody that can sign on the mortgage, right? Um, First deal that Robbie and I did, we didn't have enough signing power. So a, a buddy of mine had a doctor and we gave a piece of the pie away and he became our partners and he signed on the debt with us. And, and what we did for him as a trade-off to that, not only did he get a piece of the pie, but when we went and refinanced it after we gained enough net worth to sign on our own debt, we took him off the loan and left him with his same percentage. So he took us to the dance. We're gonna be loyal to him for taking to us, to us to the dance. So, and and that was the first deal Robbie and I did is we had no net worth. We didn't have any money. Right. <laughs> so how do you get it done? You bring in people that can get it done and, and you don't be greedy and you give away stuff in order to get it done. So first, you know, finding the right types of banks. Secondly, finding the partners that can help you get it done. Um, third is once you do find those banks, continue to be loyal to them and build relationships with them. And I, I realize some of them only have like a $6 million limit. So, or a $10 million limit. So what we do is we refi them out after three or five years, take somebody else that's willing to do that loan. And then we do a different loan with them and we stay loyal to those kind of banks. And um, they, most of our banks are depository banks. So where we possibly can, all because we're an operating business as well, all of those deposits go into their bank. So right. e even when um, we skip the loan and refinance it, we still send them our deposits, knowing that we're going to go back and still have a relationship with them later. Right, right. Yeah, that's great. I love how you pointed out, you know, I need to be creative and not having an excuse of like, oh, I'm not worth a lot of money, so I can't do anything. You, know, you guys roll up your sleeves and figured it out. And you just make it seem practical the way that you put it like that. You know, one of my marketing men mentors early on was uh, Frank Kern. And he would come to a conference with people all in their suits and he'd come in his flip flops and his board shorts. Love and <laughs> uh, he would say, look, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Cause I'm not some fancy wall street guy. It's not that hard. It just takes a lot of hard work. And um, you know, it reminded me of that when you talked about that, just creative ways to get the deal done. I think that's awesome. This content was created by commercialrealestate.com. Access our community, investment databases, training, and live events by visiting www.commercialrealestate.com.